hometown Broncos taking the field as they get set to do battle with the Carolina Panthers. The Broncos will kick. Here's Brandon McManus to start us, and we are off from Denver. Now this will make it into the end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. At their own 26-yard line. It's Christian McCaffrey, and he is going to lose yardage here. Call it officially a loss of two on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. Brings up second and 12 at the 23-yard line. At the 23, it's second and 12. To throw is Bridgewater. And he whips that one incomplete there. Curtis Samuel, the one he was looking for. And that takes us from second to third down. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. Three and out, a real danger here on their opening drive as they come up on a third and 12. From the shotgun, it's Bridgewater. Gets this to his running back, it's Christian McCaffrey. He's at the 40, 20, 10, touchdown, Carolina! Christian McCaffrey, 77 yards. And the Panthers are gonna take a first quarter lead. Well, he's used to running at that distance. Here he had to catch it, too, before making the run. Heck of a play for the score. There's not many things better for an offense than a back who is a complete guy who can run it and catch it. And we just saw him complete a big-time play for a touchdown. And they'll watch this one fall in the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. Their own 25-yard line. Lock and the Broncos gonna come up first and 10 at their own 25 yard line. And he'll drop here to throw. That's gonna be caught by Judy. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40 yard line. An excellent way to start the drive there, 18 yards. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Now Lock. And he's got it complete to Cortland Sutton. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. That's good. For 23 yards, the final tally. Back to back good plays have him on the move on first down. Now the first carry here for Phillip Lindsay. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And that'll make this a second and 13. Now a first carry for Melvin Gordon. And he'll snag about five yards down to the 32. Gordon, the ball carrier. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. That's a gain of five. Brings up third. They need to get this to the 24 on third down. From the gun, it's Locke. A pass for Sutton is intercepted. Jeremy Chin picks it off. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Uh, no doubt a very disappointing end to what was a pretty strong opening drive. They had three points in their back pocket. It was there for them. If you don't like what you see, just throw it away. Make sure you get those points on the board. Don't get too greedy. He forced it there. You saw the end result. I'm not sat down with my accountant and said I got good news and I got bad news. So what's the good news? So the good news 
The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. They'll be looking to duplicate that first drive, the one that got them that 7 0 lead. Of course they would. I mean, look, they're on the road. So getting the 7 0. He'll be brought down by the Broncos. It's a sack. The 305 pound defensive end, Jarrell Casey, gets the sack. Well, they go play fake. The problem is nobody was faked out. <laughs> and when no one's faked out, what's the end result? Quarterback gets hit. <laughs> So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. As this old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out high. They expected it and got there and popped it free. on that last play and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Out of the gun, Bridgewater. And that is incomplete. And this is what you want to see from a defense. Give up an opening drive touchdown, that's fine. But how about them going back out there, recommitting themselves to the task at hand? and forcing a three and out and giving the ball back to their offense. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. And returning it, here's Hamler. 13 yards, the tally on the return there. And the Broncos take over. First down and 10. 40-yard line. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, it does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. Now Locke throwing on second down. They're looking for Judy, but it's intercepted. Dante Jackson picks it. And they will be set up now as he brings this thing all the way back inside the 20. But to me, it's pretty simple, and it's fairly obvious, isn't it? He's got to start making better decisions with the ball. That's now two interceptions in the first quarter. After interception number one, there was a long talk on the sideline. And now he's made another mistake. Yeah, he's just been kind of laying these passes out there. He's kind of been floating them a little bit. He's got to be more decisive in his reads and definitely more decisive in throwing the ball. Right, pull it in there every now and then. And to put it mildly, this is a tough spot defensively. They have to come right back out and defend their red zone. But how about that good first step towards forcing them to settle for at least three points? I think they're also thinking bigger right now. Imagine being able to stop them totally and change the momentum. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. And it brings up third down. Bridgewater on third and two. And it's caught. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And he takes it into the end zone for a Panthers touchdown. touchdown. Christian McCaffrey with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Panthers, they widen their lead. People always talk about one of his biggest strengths, running the football vision, and he found the spot there, went into the end zone. You're exactly right about that. It wasn't just the vision, right? Once he saw the gap, decisiveness, made up his mind, and about the power to finish the play. Not only did he get good blocking, he created his own space as well. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Broncos take over first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. Ready, ready, 
Denver offense at the line, ready to go. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. He's got his big tight end fan. He was out there waving his arms, and when you got a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help, I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is, because you got to get his attention, because now you're in scramble drill. So everyone's adjusting their routes, finding open space, and he found the right spot for the completion. And that one goes incomplete. He's maybe lucky it wasn't a fumble as he got hit as he threw it. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Locke looks to throw it again. He'll let this go deep for Sutton. And Locke throws another one. It's intercepted. Picked off by Eli Apple. So that is three interceptions now in this first half. And you hate to ask the question, but you know, let's be honest. We're thinking about it. Do you need to go in a different direction next series? Potentially. We know that he's probably not going to be on the Pro Bowl ballot. That's not really his stature here but he has been their starting quarterback for this game. So they've got to weigh things about who's behind him. Do they think he can snap it back into gear? Maybe change up the play calling to help him out a little bit. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. It's been a good first half so far. They're up 14 to nothing. Points here, that could really put them in command before intermission. Yeah, and it's all well and good what they're seeing and how they're feeling right now. But it's the NFL. How many times have we watched 14 to nothing leads evaporate and quickly? So how have how we seen them combat it? Continue to run your offense, but don't back off at all. Don't start looking at the clock. Don't start thinking about, hey, just take care of the football. Keep attacking, usually the best way to maintain control. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. Watching that play unfold and watching him complete it brought back memories of doing all those pursuit drills to make sure you don't over-pursue and let a guy get a cutback lane on you. He did that very well. You praised him on tape yesterday for the angles that he takes to the ball. He took a great angle right there. And that will be incomplete. That might be the third down stop that they needed because they've had a lot of trouble slowing down this offense in the first half. This might be their opportunity to get off the field. On is the punt team now as this one's sent away. Hamler now on the return. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. A very good return there. Give him an even 20 yards. And it'll be a short field for the Broncos as they take over first and 10. On first and 10, it's Lindsey. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. I don't think any of us were surprised that they decided to start this drive on the ground after the last two drives ended in interceptions. Unfortunately, though, not a lot going on on that first play. Yeah, I think the anticipation was felt also by the defense. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. And that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit, even for those big tight ends who you would think can absorb that contact. And they'll need the 39 here for a first. This is third down. Block working out of the gun. Two minutes to play, first half. It's 14 to nothing. We remind you that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll hand you off to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action. 
Shotgun snap to lock. He's got his tight end fan. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. How about them biting off 15 yards there on the fourth down attempt and keeping the drive alive from the 32 now. Here's first and 10. Again, it's Locke. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked up by Corn Elder. The 30, 10, and he will bring this one back. It's a pick six for a Panther touchdown. Part of what we just saw, that's a great example of a team that was really amped up. They've been playing so well, yet they didn't get overexcited and have a bust on defense Joey's and gave up a big play. Instead, they created their own big play with a pick six. This one may be over. Yeah, it's just the first half, but that lead is swelled to the point where you're wondering if it is over already. Is and his good. kick is right through. It's the score, Panthers 21, Broncos nothing. Joey Sly to kick off for Carolina. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. This will make it into the end zone. And this will come out to the 25 as Hamler elects not to return it. 25-yard line. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. And this, you'd hate to say that a drive in the first half must end in points, but you're down 21-0. They're going to have to get something going fairly quickly. I would agree totally with that because if you're going to mount the comeback, it's going to have to come in bits and pieces. It doesn't just all come at one time, right? We haven't seen anything more than a six-point touchdown ever in this game, right? So that's how it has to be done. Get points on the board now. Start your comeback, but you're exactly right. Let's get it going right here in this spot. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. A second down completion got them seven. Now here's third and three. And a throw there going to be incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. Well, the offense is not leaving the field. They're going to stay out and go for it on fourth and three. They do go for it. It's locked. Open man is Gordon complete. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. The conversion is successful with a sizable gain of 13, and the decision to go for it looks like a smart one. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. And his throw here is incomplete. Cortland Sutton was the man he was looking for, but it's going to be second down. I hate to sound really negative, but at this point, an incomplete pass, almost a moral victory that it's not picked off. Well, you may hate to sound negative, but that was negative. It was very negative, I know. But all these first-half interceptions, it's been tough to watch. Yeah, couldn't find a silver line. And my goodness, another interception. Picked off by Corn Elder. And you have to wonder, Charles, a game like this, five interceptions, what does this do to the psyche of a young quarterback? Well, based on the fact that he's still out there and he threw a fifth interception, I'm wondering if his head coach believes that he's really strong mentally and wants him to play through it. Because otherwise, you need to get him out and fight another day because this could leave lasting damage if he keeps throwing interceptions. Here's a throw out wide to Anderson. Three yards the gain there, second down. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. It's third down and seven. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. From the gun, Bridgewater. And that's incomplete. Clock stops with 10 seconds left. Intended for DJ Moore. There's the Panthers punter now as he's on to kick it away.
He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And it's taken in at the nine. Well, a solid punt, but also a nice return there of 14 yards. And there'll be time for maybe one final play before halftime. Denver offense at the line, ready to go. Time here for likely one play, then off to the locker room, and they're going to have some adjustments to make. They certainly will, and I think a lot of people are thinking to themselves, all right, take the knee, get out of here, regroup. But how will the head coach and his staff approach halftime? Will it be angry? Will it be clinical? Will they be calm? Will they just let it all out? Who knows? It'll be a fly on the wall for this one, though. It'll be the Broncos getting the football first in this second half as they trail, and we are back underway. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. At their own 24-yard line. Lock and the Broncos going to come up first and 10 at their own 24. He'll start things with a handoff to Lindsey. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. He was Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Brings up second and seven. To throw it is Lock. This is the tight end fan. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and put the down marker back to one. Philip Lindsay on the carry. Tackle made by K1 Short. Well, they certainly have been able to get him going and establish the run, so I think it's time to abandon that plan and start chucking it all over the park. And you know who's excited about that? The defensive front. They got just pin their ears back and get after him now. Second down and eight. Operating from the gun, lock, and that is incomplete. Well, you got to think that sooner or later, they're going to hit one of those, but the coverage has been excellent thus far, and it was again on the last play. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. From the gun, lock. And now here is another interception. Picked off by Trey Boston, and he's able to get it back here to the 43-yard line. The first half did not go their way, and that's not going to help matters at all. An interception here on the opening drive of the third quarter. Obviously not what they were striving to accomplish, but you know who's really upset on their team? The defense. Already trailing. They're going to be counted on to try and hold that score at least where it is. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. That was nice work there defensively to force the incompletion. Now, even though this drive started in plus territory, they're still not in field goal range yet. So they can work towards another couple of stops and not allow that turnover to hurt. And he'll be brought down at about the 42. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. And it's third down. The line to gain is the 33 on third down. To throw, Bridgewater. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. That gain on third down, good for 28. How about a guy proving his worth in different ways? Had a big play in the run game to play before. This time, they go right back to him in the passing game, and he comes through with yet another big play. That's why you work out so hard in the offseason, so you can stay on the field and accumulate big plays. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. 
And he gets halfway home from the 10 to the 5 on a pickup of 5. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Heavy set out there on third and one. And they'll let their fullback try and push the pile. And he is in. Touchdown, Carolina. A five-yard touchdown run. And the Panthers add on to their lead. Well, nothing complicated about that. That's old-school power football. And effective, and that's the key good. to everything, right? Sometimes we try and do too many things. Just hand it to the big guy and let him go forward. The extra point up and good, and that makes the score 28 to nothing. This will make it into the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Broncos take over first and 10 at their own 23-yard line. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. They are right now just ice cold. I mean, they have struggled big time in this game, and they're getting blown out. How do they adjust? So tough because we always talk about it being a team game, and you need all 11 working well together. But every now and then, partner, you need that one guy who can make a play against all odds that maybe can ignite things. And I think that's what they're looking for right now. Yeah, you talk about going to your playmakers, they probably need to do it. Find someone that you're used to touching the football that makes big plays and give them that opportunity to maybe wake up everyone else. It's a first down on a gain of 10. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Faking the give to Lindsey, here's Locke. Rolling to his right. He's going to take off with it. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. How about a tip of the cap to the defense? They're working against a very mobile quarterback, but all day long they've kept him under wraps. And on that play, they held him to a short gain. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. This a second and seven from the 37. Operating from the gun. Block. Oh, he's able to outmuscle him here as he pulls it in. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. And he's got this down to the 35. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. The 35-yard line. Lock now on first down. Open man Hamler, that's complete. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Four yards. Another nice gain, 16 yards there and a first down again. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Now left side on the swing pass. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Denver score. From 19 yards away. And the Broncos cut into that lead. So they will get on the scoreboard here. Give them credit for that. Too little, too late, but no zero. The point is good. You're going slow clap on me. <laughs> Not very nice, is it? No, but they haven't been very nice on offense. It's been a struggle. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. At their own 26-yard line.
The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And that last drive was very, very balanced, pretty methodical. You think they go that route again? I'm always of the school that until they stop me from doing something, I'm going to continue. And I think that that's exactly what they'll look to do. But the beauty is the balance that they've created sets up opportunities for big plays. Looks like a run, turn it into a play action, and throw one deep. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Bridgewater. Open man is Robbie Anderson. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 15 yards on the play, first down. Defensively, they're okay with that. Short little route, tackle him inbounds. Okay. All right, cliche alert. It's time for someone to make a play because they've got to have something bigger downfield. They can't just take what they give them. They've got to force it and make something big happen for them. Complete out to Samuel on the quick throw. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down. Stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. Four yards the pickup. First down. Gain of four yards. First down. Panthers. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. So it's Panther football as we welcome you back. And the scoreboard on their side, they're just looking to melt away these final couple of minutes and put this one in the left-hand column. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves them with two to go on second down. The well, they'll take that every time with a lead first down fourth quarter, getting eight yards. You love that. They will take it, and you have to ask the defensive guys, why did you give it? I mean, you know the situation. You're down, have to stop them, have to get the football back. But eight yards on first down puts them back on their heels. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. Two yards, good enough for a first. Starting to look like this drive, it may be the final nail in the coffin. Well, this is why you work out so hard, right? This is why you spend all that time in the offseason. This is why you have those OTAs and mini camps for these situations, these scenarios, to run someone into the ground and secure a victory. Back to the ground on first, it's McCaffrey. And a short gain down to about the 33. With the carry for Carolina. I know that speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. At the 33 yard The last run good for two, here's second and eight. Bridgewater here to throw. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. Curtis Samuel, the intended target, and it's third down. Yeah. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating the defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage, able to knock that one away. On third down, Bridgewater. Eluding the pressure right. He may try and run for this. And he gets the first down here as he's taken down at the 24. A good decision in the end to pull it and run. Gets him nine yards and a first. Carolina. A first down throw for Bridgewater. He's going to take a shot for the end zone. And that will be incomplete. Four ticks left here on the clock. He was looking to get that one to D.J. Moore. That'll bring up second down. At the 24-yard line. From the shotgun, it's Bridgewater going for it all. And that is caught, but the back judge right there to say incomplete. So this one is over, a victory for Carolina. And it was their defense that really paved the way to this victory as they allowed the one touchdown